People have a voracious appetite for a better way, and yesterday's wow quickly becomes today's ordinary. Smart people are a dime a dozen and often don't amount to much. What counts is being creative and imaginative. I think it's true that big government institutions should be scrutinized, big nonprofit institutions should be scrutinized, the university should be scrutinized. It just makes sense. Excessive attention by management scientists to operating decisions may well cause organizations to pursue inappropriate courses of action more efficiently. The quality of customer experience a partner delivers is the single most important criteria in our selection process, we simply won't build a partnership with any company that does not share our passion for serving customers. In the short term, the stock market is a voting machine, in the long term, it's a weighing machine. In addition, long-term thinking permits innovation. We like to invent and do new things, he says. And I know for sure that long-term orientation is essential for invention because you're going to have a lot of failures along the way. Einstein, likewise, realized how important it is to interweave the arts and the sciences. When he felt stymied in his quest for the theory of general relativity, he would pull out his violin, to the harmony of the spheres. To be clear, we take these financial outputs seriously but we believe that focusing our energy on the controllable inputs to our business is the most effective way to maximize financial outputs over time. But it's really dangerous to demonize the media. It's dangerous to call the media lowlifes. It's dangerous to say they're the enemy of the people. Humanity has been small. That's not true anymore. The earth is no longer big. Humanity is big. Earth seems big to us, but it's f I'm talking about poverty, hunger, homelessness, pollution, overfishing in the oceans. I would much rather have a kid with nine fingers than a resourceless kid, which is a great attitude about life. Many companies describe themselves as customer-focused but few walk the walk. Most big technology companies are competitor-focused. Jeff Bezos embodies these traits. He has never outgrown his wonder years. He retains an insatiable, childlike, and joyful curiosity about almost everything. Outsized returns come from betting against conventional wisdom. But conventional wisdom is usually right. You know the business plan won't survive its first encounters with reality, he says. But the discipline of writing the plan forces you to think through some of the issues and to get sort of mentally comfortable in the space. 